Yo, what is going on, everyone in the XRP community? Hope you guys are having yourselves a fantastic day today, as usual, or I should say a fantastic morning. I am up bright and early at uh, about 7.30 a.m. here, uh, and I got an update for you guys. So a little bit later in the day yesterday, I kind of made a little outside video just to have a discussion with you guys that, hey, Swell is six weeks away. We only really know four speakers. Liquidity is different now panel that one's gonna be interesting because you know what what does XRP have to do with instant on-demand liquidity? So we're thinking okay if anything good is gonna be said about XRP utility It's most likely gonna be within that panel So a uh, XRP community member known as Lionel you guys might remember him with the uh, the Aston Martin in the profile picture uh, or I believe it's an Aston Martin um so yeah, he's in the UK and he hit me up this morning and he goes, yo, like the liquidity di is different now panel, like gone, disappeared. And I'm going, really? Really? Okay, it's gone. So guys, let's go ahead and get into it. Now, I first off want to start off by saying, I don't really want to say this is bad news uh, because I kind of feel like they just shifted around the, like, I don't, I don't want to say that like just because we don't see liquidity is different now anymore on the swell agenda uh, doesn't mean that that panel is gone. I imagine the people who are going to be speaking in the liquidity is different now panel are probably still going to be speaking. But my speculation is that uh, it's just being renamed. And I think the one reason for that is that, you know, one thing could be maybe they're making it a little too obvious when they're going to talk about XRP because it's like the only panel that has anything to do with liquidity and then saying that, hey, liquidity is different now. It's like, oh my God, that was so obviously going to be an XRP discussion. And I feel like Ripple may have caught on to that because guys, honestly, I know Ripple kind of seems like they, uh, you know, in the grand scheme of things, they kind of don't focus on the community and sort of ignore the community. But in my two plus years in the XRP community, um, I, I kind of start to now think that Ripple does have a set team that does analyze the community and see what they're going over because I can't recall any specific moments, but I, I do feel like in somewhere in the back of my head, I can remember a point in time where, you know, the, the XRP community starts discussing certain things and then Ripple starts doing something a little different, you know? So I kind of feel like they do have a team that surveys the community to see if they're catching on to something that we're really not meant to be catching on to. And that's kind of my speculation on why the liquidity is different now panel uh, was either removed or changed but I think it was more of a title change and they actually shifted the time of when this panel would be so again not really bad news um I don't know if I, well, I mean I do have some good news regarding the swell agenda like I, I do I mean you guys can see by the end of the title uh you know IMF will be speaking there so do you have some good news on that but uh yeah let me just go ahead um let me just show this to you guys so here we are, swell.ripple.com. Uh, it's been being frequently updated. Uh, so what I tried to do is I wanted to find a Wayback Archive snapshot. Uh, and if you guys don't know, Wayback Archive is like an open source uh, internet project where it, it takes, uh, every single day it takes like millions of snapshots of websites. So if anything ever is changed in the future, you can actually go back in time and look at what that website looked like at this certain point in time. Now I checked way back archive. The earliest snapshot I could get was of June and that was before all this showed up and it was only request invite and like a little form to fill out your information. That was all that was there. However, uh, thanks to my documentation of the XRP daily, I was actually able to salvage a snapshot of the Swell website so we kind of can compare what the agenda used to look like and what it looks like now. So let me show you the agenda. Uh, we go down to here. Uh, liquidity is different now. Um, yeah, it's gone. It is nowhere to be found. Now, I don't, again, I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. I think that potentially what we're seeing here is just the name of the panel has been changed. And I'm going to show you guys which one I think that that same panel is actually going to be. So, you can clearly see liquidity is different now, is gone. But before we get into, you know, the, the whole liquidity is different now thing, uh, I do want to note something that is really, really cool. I don't know how Ripple hasn't announced this on their Twitter yet, but you can see that on the morning keynote uh, at 11 a.m. Oh, yeah, this could be in Singapore, by the way. So, 
oh my gosh, I'm just now realizing this. This is not going to be U.S. time like the last one. This is going to be Singapore time. So, oh my God, I'm going to have to like pull an all-nighter. <laughs> I just realized that. I just realized that. The swell all-day live streams aren't going to be during the... They're going to be at night. Oh my God, I'm going to need some energy drinks. Oh, oh wow, my sleep schedule is going to get so messed up. Anyways, totally worth it though. So, you see, uh, we got Dr... Raghuram Rajan, who was the former Reserve Bank of India, and then also a uh, former Bank of, okay, former Reserve Bank of India governor, and during this morning keynote, we have the chief economist for the International Monetary Fund. Ha! Guess what? The IMF will be speaking on the first day of swell, and actually is going to be the first panel uh, to happen of swell. So the IMF speaking at a Ripple event. Oh, guys. Oh, what a shocker. I mean, it's not like we had... 20 plus pieces of information that suggested that Ripple was working closely with the IMF. Oh, man. Anyways, but yeah, the IMF will be speaking at this event. So back to the original topic, uh, the liquidity is different now panel is gone. Uh, and, and one other thing that somebody noted, because I did tweet this out on Twitter, someone replied, um, hey, like this panel looks interesting as well. Uh, digital assets, regulatory outlook for the foreseeable future, fireside chat with Ben Losky, uh, Stuart Aldery, Alder Roti uh, from Ripple. So what's interesting is is Ben, Lo I'm pretty sure, yeah, Ben Losky works for Ripple. So on this panel, it's going to be only, only Ripple staff. So remember how Ripple said like, hey, we have an official response coming soon for the SEC security thing, but they did actually already formulate a response, but I wonder if they're going to kind of delve more into that on this topic. So we clearly have a regulatory digital asset panel uh, with two Ripple staff members. So I'm thinking here we could probably hear a little something good in their progress in terms of engaging with regulators. So back to the original point, liquidity is different now. That panel is gone. Uh, so here is an XRP daily post from August 21st. Here's a snapshot of the original agenda. And as you can see, if we compare the two, uh, they actually do now look like drastically different. Um, like the closing keynote was changed to industry perspective. Blockchain is here to stay. Uh, and then top university blockchain programs, you know, panel remitters and what they really want. Uh, that one's not even there anymore. So yeah, the, the agenda has really been shifted around. But the main one that we were looking at was, dude, liquidity is different now. And I'm like... Uh, I'm predicting is 100% about XRP. Liquidity is different now to me. Uh, screams a discussion about XRapid and XRP users. So we need to keep tabs on this and see what companies will be on the liquidity panel. Again, the liquidity panel is gone. What the heck? Now, I don't know for sure if it was either removed or just the title of the panel was changed. But if the title of the panel was changed, my speculation is that we still have the liquidity is different now panel, but it is now named global payments that finally work because liquidity is different now, global payments that finally now work. Uh, and again, for these global payments, you need XRP liquidity. So again, we don't know if it was removed or changed, but if it was changed and if I was a gambling man, I would say that this panel is probably the same exact thing as what was planned for liquidity is different now because that's just too, to me, that is way too familiar. Liquidity is different now, but then change to global payments that finally work as in like finally, like, okay, okay, now they're finally working. Liquidity is different now. Global payments that finally work. So... I know Lionel was kind of, you know, in the <laughs> in the direct message, he was going like, man, I don't think I don't think this looks good, man. But I'm going like, you know, uh, I think they may have just changed the title because I, I feel like the XRP community probably caught on to what this already meant. And I think like global payments that finally work is kind of a little bit of a, a little bit of a curveball. So the XRP community doesn't exactly know, you know, what's going to be talked about in each panel. So. Guys, that is the video for today. Liquidity is different now. Not there anymore, but speculatively, I think this is probably this is probably the same thing in my opinion. But uh, again, if you guys have any comments about this, let me let me know in the comments below. But also got the International Monetary Fund, the big boy IMF speaking at Ripple.
not a surprise. So guys, thanks so much for tuning in the video today. Really do appreciate it. Make sure you do smash the like, subscribe, check the links in the description if you do want to support the channel. And I really do appreciate it, guys. And also make sure you do hit those post notifications. I know they don't work a lot, but uh, you know, do hit them if you want to, you know, not miss every single stream or video. But uh, but yeah, YouTube's really gotta get be get better on their game because guys, I had four streams in a row, no notice. I'm like, really, YouTube, really. You're giving me this, oh, new streamlined streaming uh, platform on the back end, but I still don't have notifications working. Like, really? How about you create a solution to a problem instead of creating a solution to a problem that doesn't exist? Okay. All right. Thank you guys so much for seeing the video today. Again, let me know what you guys think in the comments below about the IMF speaking at Ripple and the liquidity is different now panel being removed and or changed to global payments that finally work. So, in my opinion... The, the panel that we should now have all of our eyes on is global payments that finally work because I feel like this is going to be, hey guys, yeah, we launched X Rapid last year. Now we're doing this. Hey, we got, you know, this institution, this bank now using XRP for global payments. It's really working for them. I kind of feel like that's going to be the center discussion around this one as well as uh, the regulatory digital assets with the two Ripple staff members. I think that one's going to be quite interesting as well. All right, guys. Thank you for tuning in the video today. Really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next one.